Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, don't make it your last. Subscribe down below, you know the deal. Let's just get right on into it. Today I'll be bringing you a what is on my iPhone 11 Pro Max video. This is probably my most requested thing to do on my channel of all time. I figured new phone meant that it was time to give y'all an updated version. If you missed my unboxing video, which first of all, fuck you. I bought the iPhone 11 Pro Max in space gray. This is the 256 gigabyte model. And for my case at the moment, I have the black silicone case from Apple. I'm waiting for Wildflower to release more cases before I invest considering I have almost $200 in Wildflower rewards points. So you already know that I'll be splurging. As you guys already know, this video is a collaboration with Sophia Camarda, who I also collaborated on my iPhone unboxing with. So if you want to go see another what's on my iPhone, go check hers down below. So without any further ado, let's get on into the video. So this is my lock screen, it's just me and my friend Katie, you know, I thought we were just looking good, so I made up my lock screen. And then my home screen, this aesthetic pumpkin background that Sophia was kind of sent to me when I said I needed a new background, so <sighs> true friendship. I've had this phone for about a week, so I just kind of have downloaded my essential apps and I've tried to set it up in a way that I see fit. I definitely had more apps on my old phone, but I have the apps that I know I will be using on this phone right now. So I figured I should just go through and we can always, you know, do an updated one. So first of all, I have Instagram, which y'all know what that is. I was just stalking Liza Koshi. If you don't follow me already, you totally can. It's just Brentley Carmen. That's what all my social medias are at the moment. I'm trying to secure at Brentley on everything, but yeah, this is my feed. I don't use a filter at the moment. I don't know if I'll bring it back or not, but that is the feed. Then I have Snapchat. Snapchat's the one thing that I have that's like just for my friends and I. So I do have a public Snapchat. I just honestly never use it. Every time I do it with my iPhone, I take one of these Snapchats. So. Filming. Then we have YouTube, which y'all know what that is. Be sure to subscribe down below. Then I have my Twitter, which I don't really use that much, but it's the same as all my other social medias. Then I have Venmo, which I will totally leave down below if anyone is, you know, feeling generous today. Cash App is the same thing as Venmo, but I actually use my Cash App card a lot because you get a dollar off coffee when you go to a coffee shop. You get 10% off Chipotle. Like you can apply all these different boosts to it, so I actually use that card a lot. Then I have Lightroom, which is why you said it on my Instagram pictures. If you haven't seen my How I Edit My Instagram Pictures video, that is where I show you how to do that. Then I have my wallet. Then I have TikTok, which, good old TikTok. TikTok started as a joke, and then I accidentally had maybe a kind of popular TikToker three. This is my TikTok if you wanna go follow me. It was never meant to be serious, it just, it happened. Waze is my main GPS app. Outlook for my school email. Then I have Noonlight. Noonlight is an app where you can like hold in this button as you're walking somewhere at night if you're feeling unsafe. And if you let go of the button, you have 10 seconds to type in your passcode. And if you don't type it in, the police are sent to your location. So I go to school in not the prettiest area and it's not the safest at night. So I honestly usually use this app when I'm walking through that city at night. On my bottom row, I have my phone. I have the new Find My app because you know I have all these bitches locations tracked. I have Spotify, which I will leave down below. I take pride in my playlist and I have my messages app. When we scroll over to my next page, I have eight folders. I've always had my iPhone set up as like one page of either four, eight or 12 apps and then the next page of either four, eight or 12 folders. So this folder is called trash and this just has a ton of Apple apps or things that I don't really use. So I'm not gonna go through this folder. I say this every iPhone video, but I'm not gonna go through it. So then my photo and video folder, I have Visco, which I don't use that much anymore. I have a Visco account you can go follow. I just, I don't really care about it. Then I have Unfold to make my Instagram stories for my story and some other accounts that I run. I have Airbrush, which is kind of like free phase two, and I honestly like Airbrush better these days. I have Google Photos to back up my photos. I have 1888, which is a photo editing app. I have Facetune 2, I have Fuji, Photo Grid, PixArt, Unum to like plan out my post. I have Layout and I have Fonto to put text on my thumbnails. Then I have my Finance folder where I have Discover, which is my main credit card, but I don't really use that anymore now that I have an Apple card. 
being an adult is so fun. I have TD, which is my bank. Then I have my Verizon, which is my carrier. I have PayPal, y'all know what that is. And then I have Clarity to track my spending, which I need to start doing. Next, I have my food holder. So I have Panera, Grubhub, Uber Eats, McDonald's, Dunkin', Taco Bell, Chipotle, DoorDash, Postmates, Domino's, Insomnia Cookies, Applebee's, Yelp, and Starbucks. For all the food delivery apps, the one I use the most is DoorDash, just because it's the only present one up here. When I'm home, we have Postmates, but up here we don't, so DoorDash is the way to go. Then I have my shopping folder, which I need to stay away from, but I have Depop. Sometimes I sell things on Depop. If you want to go follow me, I'll leave it down below. I have the Apple Store app, eBay, Wildfire Cases, which y'all know I'm a huge fan of. H&M. Okay, I just got into this one called Shein. Shine? Shein? I don't even know. I'm going to embarrass myself either way if I try to pronounce it. They have really cute, cheap clothing, so I really want to start buying from them. Fashion Nova, Amazon, and Poshmark. For my social folder, I have Facebook Messenger. Then I have Facebook. Tinder. I'm single. Any boys want to hit me up? My DMs are open. Group me. I have Bumble. I have Tumblr. House Party. Chappy. Pinterest. Thriller. Tamey. And YouTube Studio. Then I have my travel folder. So in this folder, I have Uber, Lyft, and Juno, which are three car service apps. Juno is only in New York. So when I'm visiting Manhattan and whatnot, I use Juno. And then up here, I usually use Uber. I don't want to ruin my reputation by like using Lyft or anything. Then I have Hopper, Airbnb. I have Park Boston, which is how I pay to park in Boston. I've used this and I've still gotten parking tickets, so I don't really know if I recommend it. Then I have the Metro North Tickets app, the New York City subway map, and then the Metro North Train Time app, which I don't know why they made those two apps separate, but they did. And finally, this folder is new to my life. I'm very proud of it, even though there's over 2,000 notifications. My productivity folder, because I'm trying to be more organized. So I have Google Calendar, which my floor mates and I said we would start using because we cook dinner every Sunday, so you want to schedule out who's cooking when. I have Gmail, which I have so many emails logged into this phone, it's not even funny. I have Pulse, which is for my school. It's how we submit assignments through this place called Brightspace. It's kind of like Blackboard. I have Files, Apple's file app. I usually save my Lightroom presets there. And then I have Slack, which is like a business workspace app. Then I have Chapter Builder, which is for Greek life. A lot of people in Greek life use Chapter Builder. And then I have Google Drive and Google Google Docs. And that is everything that is on my iPhone. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If there's anything else you want to see regarding the iPhone, please comment it down below. I would love to do it. Don't forget to watch Sophia's What's on My iPhone video. I will link that down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that is where I always am the most. I will see you guys soon with a new video. Until then, peace. <laughs>